Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what is functor in C++? Notice this, this is functor, not a function, okay? And the answer is it works as function and achieved by overloading this operator in some classes, okay? We'll see that how it works. This is your class here and uh, you have overloaded this operator, okay? You created this one object of this class, multiplication, and you created this object and you passed the parameter, the initial parameter you wanted to set in this, okay? And I kept this name as multiplied by 12, okay? So, this object is set. Now, this object, this particular object will work as function, okay? So, as you can see, I'm using the same object here and I'm passing two, and second time I'm passing 3, so it is multiplying 2 with 12 and 3 with 12. So this is the logic. And what is the reason behind using this? It saves the state of the function. If you are using traditional functions, they don't have any state. You will be just passing the value and you will get the value. And some operation will happen inside that. But they don't save their state until unless you some, use some, some static variable inside that. Okay. So here it is not required to use any static variable. This is the benefit of using functor in your code, okay? So I'll just run this code now. So as you can see, this multiplied 24 and 36. It's quite obvious. It is very self-explanatory what is happening here, okay? It might be looking a little simple that what I'm doing here, I mean, whatever the functor is, but it is not that simple, guys, okay? This is an object and working as function and it save its state. So you have set the state initially when you was creating this function or object, okay? So you set the state, now you will be using that state and do whatever you want to do with that particular state, okay? So I think I'm done here. Thanks for watching and check out my other playlists for videos like this. Bye-bye.